Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And what you're about to see is me editing all the keeper photos from the Canon 5D Mark IV real world review. But before I do that, if you haven't checked out the real world review just yet, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's gonna take you over to the website so you can watch the video, download raw files to edit yourself, and see all the full res exported JPEGs that are there for you to take a look at. Now, when I turn around, you're gonna see it real time. You're gonna see me editing in real time. I'm going through about 188 raw files and you're gonna see the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm gonna curse at myself, I'm gonna yell at myself and I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna edit all 188 or so photos. It's going to take about two hours to do this. So if you're gonna watch it in pieces, cool. If you're gonna watch the whole thing, cool. If you're gonna skip through it, cool. The fact that you're just watching it, there's so much information in there that's going to be helpful. Tips and tricks, they just come out whenever I'm editing and talking. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up as well as leave some comments along the way with what you think and answer some of the questions that I ask you while I'm editing. So let's switch shirts and get to the edit. All right, here we go. Let's go through the process of editing all of the Keeper images from the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Uh, if you haven't seen that real-world review, you can go check that out. So there's 188 images here for me to go through. Like I always say, these are going to be long videos. I go through and I edit, and I may give some information while I'm doing it, but really... I would be editing these photos anyway, so I figure why not record them so that you can watch my entire process of going through uh, what I'm going through. So I've already gone ahead and created one-to-one -one previews. I also haven't renamed these, but I honestly, I, I like renaming them back from every single image, by the way. I don't like just doing the keepers. So I'm selecting all function F2. Let's go ahead and hit edit. Let's select the date. It was the 29th. So 2016-08-29 underscore 5DMK4 underscore RWR for real world review. Still have an underscore. There's under 1,000 pictures. Done. Boom. Rename. And renaming is done. So I'll bring back up my five star images. They're just the ones that I think are the ones that I should be editing. And we'll get into the entire process. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You can download some of the raw files over on the website as well. Enjoy. I would say put on some mellow listening music in the background. That's usually what I do. And if there wasn't copyright issues for doing that, I would play you some of my favorite ones while I did this. As always, you got the black and the whites. I haven't even touched the contrast on this yet. 4,000 ISO? Yeah. I didn't really shoot any of these super low ISOs just because of the situation I was in, the shutter speed I needed to get. And I'm only on image one of 80, 188. Yippee. It's going to take a while. I don't know why I went so high on this. Uh, we're losing the drummer just a little bit. How come the drummers are always in the worst light? And why Why are we... I get it. I get why you're ha hanging a blanket, but that doesn't exactly help me with light bouncing back. Meh. You got the gold color. So I saw this mirror in the corner. I was like, oh, there's a mirror. I should probably use it to add some dimension to the images. See, there's so much nice color in the way of the ceiling or just interesting details in the way of the ceiling that it's hard not to leave it in color. I say that right now, but we'll see, we'll see how many black and whites are able to come out of this. Files recover fine. This this is probably going to be a yeah better in the black and the white. See, you can bring your shadows a hell of a lot back, and they still hold up pretty well. 
that's what I guess people care about in files like this, and this is 4,000 ISO. I don't always I don't want to drag my highlights too far. I like the black black and I like the whites pretty damn white in the images. I like the contrast and I say it all the time. I've liked that contrast since I was in school and processing my own negatives. But I don't want it to be not representative of the scene I was actually in. At first I was going to say this isn't going to be a usable shot. But you see that it's, it's a little on the dark side from where I was. But then we just bring it back. Look at this over a, a stop. It holds up very well, guys. This is five stops, and it still held up very well. See? And I can hide the noise in the grain just by bumping up the contrast. So not bad. That's some nice range for those people who give a shit about range. I just, all I care about is that I can get the shot. I get the shot, and then I can process it to where I want it to be. Oh, shit. Oh, but you got the orange sofa in the background. Uh-huh. Let's see. Highlights? You can bring in outside. Look, you can see what's across the street. They call it the Murder Mart. Actually, that doesn't detract from the image at all, moving those highlights back down. We're going to have to go both, by the way. I feel it in my bones. So, I'm going to create a... Where is it? I do this all the time. Create a virtual copy instead of making a snapshot for when I export. It just... It's just easier for my personal workflow. Too far. Don't want to go too far with bringing it back. See, that's about right on the dark side. I want to bring that one down a little bit as well because we know it's a dark environment. I may be able to get rid of one of these knob twistings. We're going to get rid of this one. I want the other eye in focus. What are we at? 5,000 ISO now. I have a tendency to always have to bring my exposure up a little bit. Don't know why I always have shot that way, but it just seems... See, get rid of that yellow and bow, chicka, bow, boom does it I wish we could pump the pink but there's no pink to be pumped anybody who likes my old videos would know I used to say I like to pump the pink pump up that pink so cool then we can sync this to the next one very similar images boom sharp ah, I feel the color so this is interesting. You got the the guy playing the guitar. Then you've got him back in the mirror. Huh. I mean, there's a lot of color in here, so... That's pretty cool. Without, with, without, with. Pull out some of that yellow. Nope. Mm. Don't really want to go too far with the shadows on this one. There we go. Fish eye only put it on twice, I think, in the entire shoot. You know I'm not a big fan of the fish eye, 
but I figured for for band shots like this in a studio, it really allows you to show the entire scene, but very selectively. Very, I mean very, very, very selectively. Ill dudes, that's what they're called. The ill dudes. I think I'm focusing around. I don't even remember where I was focusing, but he's nice and focused. What am I at? F4, because that is an F4 lens. So I just see how the angle, see how you can screw up the fisheye. Here I have everything, my angles are straight. You can see, I'll bring out the line tool. You can see that straight, right? And then you get to the next images, and then I'm off kilter. You can see that I'm off kilter a lot. Goodbye. This one, same thing. You can see it right here on the ground. Just watch the difference between this symmetrical shot that's done right and the, then off by just a little bit. If you're off by a little bit with the fisheye, you're fucked. Just, it's, it just makes it look terrible and amateurish. In this case, this is better because it's not as wide. I think it works. It's not a good shot, though. It's not that good of a shot. It really isn't. It's it's actually really bad. But we'll leave it in there for them. I'm sure they'll like it, and they'll be happy, and that's what matters. This was when I was struggling to find shots in, in, the, in the beginning of the shoot. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not seeing it. I got to find these images. Where are they? So this was one of the things I did is I focused on details, until I found all the other shots I needed. It's just one thing I do. Color has been looking good straight off the camera. With the Canons, I always feel there's some kind of subtle, just subtle, subtle until I'm editing where it feels like I've missed, though I may not have. This is one of those that could probably be black and white. Let's see, let's zoom in in a second and see what we got. Ill dudes. Mm, no, it still subtly feels like it's out. It's that's that's one of those things. Plus they're moving one five hundredth of a second at three two. Also, it's a vertical. Here's one of the excuses is I didn't have a vertical grip because they're not out yet. So. Remember, that always plays a point, a part in your images. What I mean by that is when you're shooting vertically, it, uh, oh, fuck, that's out of focus. Uh, when you're shooting vertically, it makes it more difficult to do it without a grip. I'm getting editing face again, and this is just a bad photo. No, I mean, this one's sharp. What am I using here? 70 to 200. Remember, when you're zooming in one-to-one, -one, guys, that's called pixel peeping. Crown Royale. Again, when you're trying to find images, you just... You take them. You take the ones that are in front of you just because it uh, it helps move along what you're doing. It needs to be warmer. That's more the Crown Royal color. My parents used to have Crown Royal in the house back in the day. That's sharp. Shooting. So this is shooting with the a ton of bad light because I'm shooting into the light. Yes, I know, that's not going to be a good exposure right there, but we'll bring it back like this. See? We can do it. We got the skills. We got the power. We got the looks. I don't like how gray this is, but I don't like how... I don't like the color. Don't forget, temperature can play a difference. See? It plays a difference with your, uh, your editing. I don't want to get rid of the shadow in his face fully, though. And the reason being is you know that he's clearly in shadow. So I think it's kind of on the mysterious side. But if you really wanted to, you can go a little further and bring it back. I just want to have a subtleness to it. And yeah, 77 is pretty far to go. 
to give you the shot, but I think it works right there. This is where I tried some of that dual pixel raw, but in Lightroom you can't edit that. And plus, DPP, Canon software, is atrocious. Again, off by a stop. For whatever reason. But the raw gives us our latitude to focus on getting the picture. I think black and white became better. And I just think the color becomes too blah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to the extreme on this. Let's see what the color. I mean, yeah, the color stands out and it's a little on the yellow side, but I don't know, I just feel that this is a black and white image through and through. That's what I feel. We'll sync the next quatros and we'll see what happens there. Too far, too far. It was dark. Also, I'll make it uh, clear, I am editing currently in a uh, the DNGs, but they were from a beta export of... So, yeah, Adobe Camera Raw, at the time of me editing this, wasn't officially out, or isn't. Or I don't know when it's coming out, to be honest. Uh, so I'm using a pre-release beta version, so I don't know what would be different in the future, but I just figured I would let you know that's what I'm using. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Let's get the color right. Wow, that's a lot of contrast. I still, I still feel it. I still feel it at the super contrasty. Boom, hello. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your thighs. I can see it in your... <laughs> Arms are open wide. Color or black and white, people. Color or black and white. I'm going black and white. I just feel he's good in that. Ill dudes. I don't like that I cut it off Rick's finger. But I do like the look on his face. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is, by the way, across the street from the Fro Factory. Pretty cool, right? To have a this studio. We got what I got, and then we got what he's got. Right there across the strizzle. And I mean street by that. This is not that good of a photo. See, that of the three is better. We'll leave it. We'll sync it so we can get a starting point. Far away from 188 photos, people. Yeah, nice, Rick. You never know what's going to happen with the white balance in these era, in these situations anyway. Color all the way. A little more yellow. Yellow wolf. I 
like that picture. See, I, don't, I got this right in here, and that's distracting. The microphone. And also the line that was in the top of his head. See, this line was distracting too. So I moved over. Nothing I can do about the uh, floor stand or the mic stand. Damn, this shit's powerful. Lightroom is just powerful. It's like, look at this. It'd be blown out, and then you can go like this, and then you can play like this and bring him back, and then go like this to tighten it back up. Cut back on that. Go, th Yeah. Oh, but the color looks pretty good. Wow, look at the difference. Look at that. See, we know it's dark on this side. So I'm going to still leave a little bit of darkness in there. I like this. I like the darkness of this. Super contrasty files, though. Combination of the light that we had coming in, combination of the glass and the image sensor. I'll say this. I, I It's like, yes, I'm reviewing the 5D Mark IV and editing those files, I'm going to edit my files the same way I'm going to edit my files, the same way I'm going to edit all of my files. It's all the same. I don't give a shit what it's shot with. All I care about, let me come back with some good photos, you know. Uh, hashtag I yawned if you just yawned when I yawned. Twenty one minutes in. So different without music. Cool space, right? Really cool space in my neighborhood. I like this space because it's it's bigger than my space. Not my space like high five, but just bigger than my my studio across the street. Well, sort of. Mine split up into different rooms upstairs. You'll see. One day you'll see. I'm taking my watch off. It's annoying me. I don't know why I'm just being annoyed by it. Is that my shadow? No. I don't know whose shadow that is. Maybe it's the shadow. Because only the shadow knows. I like this. It's 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 everybody's in the shot. Oh, God, the color looks good, too. Scheiser. It's a little on the thick side, Jared. Thick like a pickle in a Burger King bathroom. Oh, the Humpty Dance is your chance to do the hump. Do the Humpty Hump. Yeah. Sexy baby, we're getting rid of the next one. We're getting rid of this one. All right, makes it a lot easier to get back down. This is a tough one because of shooting back into the light, right? So I either can bring this back or I can't bring it back, right? Those are my two options. 
There's no in-between. And if I do this, we're going to have to go like this to really pump it. Pump, pump, pump it. Can we get rid of all that yellow? Because I, it's cool with the co I just don't like the color. And is his look any good? Is he even in focus? Again, I'm using an 11 to 24, so zooming in that far. Something's in focus somewhere, and it's not him. But I don't hate the shot. I hate the player. No, nah, I don't hate the shot. It's funny. They always say you can't fix out of focus stuff in post. There's no fixing. Well, there's no fixing straight up out of focus, but those micro adjustments, they're interesting. They're, I, they're so subtle, just like I expected them to be, but it's a start. It's very interesting. Because wait till they have quad pixel AF, except that's going to take four times the size of an image opposed to one. I like this because of these pillars in the image. I don't like that. It's twisting a knob. Boom. Oh, no. It's funny. He's twisting knobs. I'm moving twisties. Oh, see, look at that. Save the image by moving the highlights. Yes. No, definitely color's not working. Color's not working because of the lights he was hiding under. Hashtag ill dudes. D O O T S. Ill dudes. Nice. I don't know why Lionel Richie's on my head. My arms are open wide. I can hear you in my heart. Ill's looking ill. Jordan. Look at that, right? Look at what it brought back. I think that's some really good shadow detail. Because this is, this is it at the beginning, and I've crushed it, and I can bring it back pretty far. And then, and then I can uh, tweak even more. I know, I go far, and then I bring it back, because I'm looking for those black lines. Anybody wondering, this is the GoPro in the background filming. Are we done yet? Are we done the editing process? What's the difference? I said 24 millimeters, and the next one is around 11. 11? Yes. I love this. I like these shots. You can go look at all the raw files. Well, a bunch of raw files and all the raw j and all the JPEG exports. Yeah, see, I like this one. Super far away with his hands up. Hands up, baby, hands up. Give me your heart, gimme, give gimme give your heart, gimme, give gimme give all your love. <sighs> all your love. Yeah, this, this is what keeps me going if I'm not listening to music. The music's playing in my head. Weird, obscure stuff, but it's still playing in my head. In my head, in my head, zomp. Anybody else, when I said in my head, start singing zombie from the Cranberries? Hashtag that. Let me know that, yes, I started singing the zombies. I mean, zombies, not the zombies, because then you'd be singing zombies music, because I don't even know what they sing. Uh, 
Yes. I like that. Look at that. That shows it's just like it's the master at work at his desk. I don't know that he's completely in the center here, but oh shit. He's completely in the center right here. <laughs> Look, that's completely in the center right there. Somebody got their focus right. I mean their their composition. So here's a trick for getting your composition right. Uh, making sure that they're straight lined up even in the middle. Your centermost focusing point, usually when you hit the, the enter or the home button or something on the camera, it puts the focusing point directly in the middle. If you line that up and, and, and estimate the left and the right and the top and the bottom, well, not so much the top and the bottom, I like the fact that he, he's touching the top center square because if he was if his head was here, it wouldn't be as good. So the, the tip is just line it up uh, with the center button, then do your composition, but check that the left and the right are pretty even. Damn, you're going to get a number six right here. I'm calling you one of my favorite shots from this entire thing so far. And I get click happy too, by the way. I just start clicking clicking buttons. Oh, and if you're going to zoom in and say it's not sharp or something like that, you got to remember this is 11 millimeters, and you're zooming all the way in like this. And this stuff looks sharper to me than he does but in the grand scheme of things if i printed this out nobody is knowing the difference and i'm gonna print this out how about them apples and i wasn't gonna do a reveal for this one but maybe i'll do a reveal for this one maybe i'll go make a book just because i feel like it and i'll give all the ill dudes guys a book and then i will leave a photo book check this check this right here on one of these coffee tables or right here on this right here on this coffee table there will be a f okay i'm making the book there's going to be a photo book so that any musician and artist comes in is gonna be like who did this who did these awesome photos look at the dynamic range and they must have been using an amazing camera because the dynamic range is so incredible said nobody ever um they're gonna be like who took these and he's gonna be like you see that building right there that's the fro factory across the street he took them and i'll be like yeah i took them and then i'm sticking to it I'm just saying, I'm just saying, obviously, we're not going to go that far. I do like it like this a little bit. I like it like that. This is nice. That's why I'm spending time. I wrote a poem once. The poem was called Time. It went a little something like this. Time. 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 Time, a poem by Jared Poland. If you actually look up that on on one on my YouTube channel, there's a video of me doing that poem back in 2010, I believe. God, I just like this photo. Sometimes you just have to sit back and admire the photo. And it took a it took a while to get the photo because you can see the the shots leading up to it, and then just trying different angles. And, and stuff. I like this shot. Oh, I really like this shot. And you can see all my lenses back here, by the way. On the table. All those Canon lenses from the day. This is the shot I blow up. This is the shot I print out. This is the shot that... You know, does he hang in his, uh, in his area? We don't know. We'll see. amazing is what a little bit of contrast does very tough way to shoot by the way oh that's sh actually sharp and I sometimes act surprised because there's a big difference between this shot and him feeling the frame and this shot when you zoom in yes when you zoom in you're going to see so-called quote-unquote noise and grain but when you go to this shot, it's going to be a little less because his head is consuming more of the frame. I'm sticking to it. I like that, too. And I think I get wider the next one a little bit. 
I may go back and tweak a little later after I live with the files for a minute, but you you get the point. Ew, hello. Way to screw up the exposure. Actually, it wasn't that bad when I brought it. When I, some people may like the gray. I don't. But this is super bright, this one. I don't like how bright it is. So bright. Oh, my God, it's painful. You know how I yell at some people for their photos and they feel like, like I feel like I'm going to throw up right now? I got to stop looking. See, I like that. I like that tone. But I like that, too. Interesting, right? All right, I got to get off that picture. I don't think that one was sharp. This is where you can kind of take liberties with uh, saturation and stuff. Clarity. Well, we don't want the wood of fake color for this Fender Trat to caster. Is that different than a Stratocaster? A Trastocaster? I didn't know they were different. Who knew? I just don't know much about guitars. See, I'm also looking at the background elements, the out-of-focus stuff, to see how that works. I don't even know what a Fender Mustang is. Look how cracked the paint is. This is old. This one does not get... I don't think you can do black... Hey, why are you doing? No, it's got to be color for the yellow. I'm going to do lens correction here. I haven't touched it at all. So there's times where I use lens correction. And there's times that I don't. I don't know. I, I like the vignette, but there's like a natural vignette on both. I'm sticking with the no lens correction. 99% of the time, I stick with no lens correction. What's my aperture at? F2. Interesting. It's a little better on the composition side right there. Yeah, that composition is a far lot better. See the difference? Hold on. See, just straighter, little more breathing room, top to bottom. This is when I go around looking for details just to supplement the other images. So something like this could live in a book or when I'm talking, I'm talking about a book that I would personally make. It's just a shot that could, you never know what they could use it for. This is with a 85.12 at 1.6. So the whole point was to obliterate the background. I also did dual pixel AF, sorry, dual pixel raw, I believe on this file, but you, it's so subtle when I went into DPP, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's good color on him. When I say that, I mean by the right temperature. Because you don't want to go too far back, it gets too cold. I think right there is warm. Some black and white can look like. 
We'll stick with the color. Some purple fringing in the eyeball and the pupil. See, I think the shallow depth of field is way too shallow. I did this all obviously testing out, but I see this eye, and then I look at this eye, and I'm like, oh, shit, his eye is totally and completely obliterated and out. But you see every fine detail in this image, so you see that. You could always go like this and be like, ah, oh, yes. No, you can't do that. I don't like that shot. Good, I don't like it. I've seen better. Thank you. Good. <laughs> I've seen better, which is, makes me happy that I can say that. These aren't as good because there's not as much going on detail-wise in the background, but they're okay shots. I felt the shoot was a little challenging to get everybody, and sometimes I just focused here on Rick because it was good. He was easy to shoot. See, there's not a lot of color in this one. My brain was just thinking about something else. It always it just, I'm sitting here thinking about a different a trip coming up. I'm thinking about should I have flown into Tampa or Orlando because I'm flying into Orlando for the gig, but I'm driving to Tampa for dinner. Probably should have considered flying right into Tampa so I didn't have to drive so far, but I didn't. So be it. You like these videos? As always, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm sure I'm sure some of you guys would like to see it faster. Do you have any suggestions for what would make you enjoy these videos more? Other than me not singing, that's not a, a, a valuable suggestion. Just I'm open to what you guys say because you, you're watching. I know a lot of people do watch it, but I know they're long, being that we're already 40 minutes into this one, 41 minutes. Still think it's going to take me another... 40 minutes or so. That's not very good. I like this angle. There was just something I liked about it. If it's sharp. I don't think it is. I like the angle, but the picture sucks. You suck, Jared. You fucked up. I'm going to go with a little darker on this one. It just feels that way because his eyes are closed. And you can see I'm bringing in the foreground a little bit the foreground elements with the shadow. And that's sharp. It's always what is that? It's a 514. Holy shit. I don't like the look on his face there. I don't like that one. This is a hard one because of the backlight. Though that looks pretty cool. Look at that. Thank you, Lightroom. Thank you, Lightroom, for allowing me to play with the highlights. Straight line on the floor, lined up with the with the carpet. Yeah, some nice things going on with that one. It's it's unique and different than I stood up on the table. I talked about my lenses being in the background in the future, not having them there. 
wonder what lens correction would do. See, see what it's doing, how it brightens up the outside? To me, that just takes away from the image. I like the non-corrected version, to be honest with you. Oh. I probably wouldn't edit these straight through if I wasn't recording them. And hopefully the recording is good. The worst thing to ever happen, well, not the worst thing ever, but knock on wood, a bad thing to happen would be to have it mess up. Oh, I like this one because Steven was in it. That's right. Did that change my exposure? One two hundredth? No. What's interesting, his head's tilting in, his head's tilting in, that's what makes that a cool shot. Because it, it just draws you into the frame, I think. Color's too good in this one to go black and white, but I will do this anyway just to have both options later so I don't forget. I gotta look at how many I've done so far. Oh shit, I still have a hundred to do. Time for a break. It was a uh, 46 second and a half break. I didn't even, I just wanted to honestly make sure that the, the file was good because it chews up a lot of data or space when you're doing, oh, that's better. That's better, too much highlight, less highlight. It was all here in the side of the face. All right, I did, it looks like I sank these already. So I'm gonna sank them right back. All right, just it was weird. I was like, why? <laughs> I was trying to figure out the syncing. Everything looked weird for a second. Obviously, I'm not going to sync those. I already did, but you can see that the exposures are different for those. I like that. I'm going to tweak this. I like the color, the warmth of it. I think the color works better than the black and white there. It just, I like the black and white. I mean, we can we can do this to bring the that back, but I don't know. There's something the 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 the, the smile, the color. Maybe a little warmer. Just a little bit. The habit, right clicking. Oh, that looks good.
What changed? One one six one one sixtieth at f four. One one sixtieth at f four. Oh, I was on the eleven twenty four. Wow, that's what changed. And I went to the twenty four to seventy. So that was the only thing that changed with that with that was that. I like what's going on here in the background. I actually like that better. Brings it down subtly. It's crazy how you can tell something changed, and then you go go back and you look at it. So we'll follow this theme, black and white, for the eyes closed. Just make it darker. It just feels like it's meant to be that way. So I'm coming back with that. Again, he's turned away from the light. He's turned away from the light to find the dark side. But I still got to use the picture. Still have to use it. And there you go. Those shadows come right back in this uh, 5D Mark IV RAW files. That's pretty good. The shadows came back the very next day. Ooh. Nice to see the shadows coming back. Hold on, I gotta get in a comfortable position here. In my Herman Miller chair, not a plug, but you guys should be sitting in a Herman Miller chair. It's like a it's like you're sitting on a cloud. It's like you're sitting on a cloud. And then I sit here and try to figure out not just the black and white thing. But are these files nicer than, say, a D5 file? Uh, did I shoot Ben Folds with the D5? So with a lot of situations, you can't compare two different... You can't compare... This shot is fucking awesome. You just can't compare. Oh, I made it even. Oh. I got to print this out on that big Canon printer. And then every time I go back, I see something different I want to tweak. I know. It's, I'm not supposed to be editing this. I was just wondering about the shadows between the two. This is the top of the line. This is $6,500, and the other one's $3,500. Um, but you can't critique the same images or different images uh, from different shoots and think that... Um, and think that you can compare to in the not same situations. If we were in the same situation and I had the same exact picture with the Nikon, it'd be very interesting. I don't do tests like that because I, I don't care, but I am pretty interestingly surprised. Not surprised. I'm just pretty happy with the way that these files are, are handling in, in the way of uh, shadow area like and holding up. It gives you a nice amount of shadow. Recovery, that is. Anytime you're shooting into a mirror, it's never going to look super duper sharp, but these look super duper sharp in the mirror, almost like I shot them like that. Oh, I wonder if Dan made it into the photo because we use this back area to dump all the footage, and these are not our man Froto tripods. They were there. They probably use them for something. I like the color. 
go subtly. I want to go darker because it's a dark scene. I have to say that the the green and the, the 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 white balance has been pretty good, and the tint has been right on. Where with the Nikon, I tend to have to play with the tint a little more. Oh shit! So this one, I don't have this guy over here playing with the ball, the, the those things. In this one, I do, but I like the composition much better of this. But I'll include both. What the hell did I change? Oh, a stop. One two fiftieth at three two. And then one five hundredth at three two, so watch this one point four five, too much. Either that or the light. Nah, why would the light change, Jared? I don't know. I mean, they both work. They both work. Stupid picture. This is a stupid, stupid picture, but I'm gonna leave it because, whatever. I think it's a shitty picture. Took a bit stupid picture. I should be able to blow through these a little, a little quicker because there's not as much fine detail to play with. I don't know, guys. Why did I take this picture? I don't know, because it's part of what I did. It's I saw something. Can't shoot the same shit all the time. So it's like, all right, let's shoot this microphone. And then I was like, oh, the piano, this old piano. Might as well shoot the old piano and the microphone in the foreground. gone i don't feel like playing with it i'll edit this one though beta 5 8 day So this right here is a microphone for the drums. In one of the prior pictures that I had that I didn't select, it had just that barely sticking in, and I think if I'm going to use it, it needs to fully be in the picture, that is. It's just classic, isn't it? Doesn't black and white give you the classic feel? One four hundredth of a second, and you're getting some blur in the drumsticks, which is perfectly fine. It's what you want. I don't like this one as much because I cut off the drum. These are so cool, these microphones, though. I think you have to go with the color here for the uh, vibaphone and the banger things. Do we call them mallets or are they called balls on a stick? I'm going to go with balls on a stick. Hashtag balls on a stick. If you've made it an hour into this video. Is he thinking like, oh, yeah, I wish this was grape lollipop, because then I'd be like, yes, it tastes like grape. Ill Dutes. Name of the band. Very jazzy. Oh, hey, I know this guy. Why not? I see a mirror. <laughs> I've done this a lot. I have a bunch of pictures with me in mirrors Damn. and I'm not flexing all right it's just when you hold the camera a certain way it 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 makes you flex 
I like the all the extra stuff going on in the image in the background. It's pretty cool. I don't want to go too far. I like it. I like it. I mean, yeah, it's me, but I still like it. That's I like self portraits like this. That one's not as good. Also, it's not yellow enough. Forty five, fifty five, fifty. Forty six hundred. Five thousand. Too much. Forty seven fifty. Forty six. 78. I like it. Look how smooth it made the skin shooting where we shot it at. By we, I mean me. I don't want to do that because that looks terrible, to be honest with you. The shadows bring... Oop, didn't mean to do that with the highlights. Its eyes are interestingly dark. Dark brown. Color's pretty good right off the rip. There we go. If this is not, that's not in focus. I can tell. It's in. F oh, it's because I'm at 1.2. That's why it looks so weird. It it just it so hurts me. Yes, this lens shoots at 1.2, but holy shit, does it? Like the eyes in focus at 1.2. Holy Jesus, though the rest of the image just makes his ear is out of focus. I just think the image is so far out of focus. It's not even funny. Similar shot to earlier, except done with the 70 to 200 this time. The micro adjustment would make it a micro adjustment, but there's not much else I would say about it. You can see me in the picture. That's my fro right there taking it. Looks a little green. What was it at? Seven. Nice three. Ah. Uh. My exposure was so bad on that one. Actually, maybe it wasn't super bad. Because the focus is more of the guitar than anything else. 
not so much the background. And I correct it for my exposure on the next shot. No, I didn't mean to do that, and this is not also a very good picture. Ugh. See, there was just no coolness or dimension, and this is much better. I like the warmth. They look like matchsticks, to be honest with you, right there. What's this, the 100 macro? Weird how the color shifted on this one. It's all white balance. Let's see. Saw this detail in the piano that he was using. Determination. See, I corrected my exposure from this one, one two fiftieth, and then I went to one six fortieth in the next shot. I think it does take me longer to edit this way with people watching. Should I do this on Twitch? I don't think I should do this on Twitch at all because the quality wouldn't be as good on Twitch. That's why I don't think editing would work unless, unless they do it in super huge monitor. I just have to rearrange everything. And by rearrange, I mean the way I'm sitting.
That's tough on the balls, to be honest, the way I was sitting. Meant to be dark, not that dark. I like it dark. I, I don't want to go too far with those shadows. That's sharp, <laughs> super sharp. Six fortieth. Let's just try one and see what happens. Oh, you know what button I keep forgetting about, and it's all the way at D Hayes. Like, holy shit, man, do I forget about D Hayes? Seriously, I forget about it because it should be up here. This needs more yellow to match these. Can't tell. That's too orange. You know what I need to do? Nope. Yeah, that's 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 the one. That's the color. Four thousand what's that say? I can't see with the microphone in the way. Forty ninety nine. needed to be more yellow. Fuck. Oh, the color's better, I think. Oh. I guess I do curse at myself when I'm editing. So, what you see right here the, this is coming in through the the blind the the shades it's funny how you spend a little more time on certain shots right We're going to play with that just for fun after I'm done tweaking.
Let's see where it started. Crazy how the color changed slightly from one to the other. I know I said I'd do the black and white, I forgot. Wow, look at the difference in t I synced these, and what is the difference? I like the sequence though. I like the right before. I like the smile. The eyes are smizing. Then that into that because you still have it right here. I will right, we'll get into that next. I think the orange couch makes this one, right? Oh. That's pretty good too. I mean, that's pretty good as well. And it honestly renders these shitty. But I think Stephen may want to use them in the in the video, so I'll edit them. These context less trying hard to do something. This more trying hard to be like, hey, stand there and smoke your joint. Oh, you know what I didn't try? I don't even know where the hell they hide it. No, thank you.
Yeah, these shots are no good. They will not get good rankings when I go ahead and give them to Steven, I'll tell you that much. Does the orange make it? I like that one. I just like the positioning of everything. This is um, using Wi-Fi with the camera on a stick. I'm focused right here using the phone to focus. Mm, they're actually not bad. Still in. About 27 minutes in, 37 minutes in.
I asked him to look up. Good old reach out and grab the lens. Twelve thousand eight hundred. Now, this was a super ass dark room. I tell you, look, look at the next picture. Look, this is how dark it was. Super dark, right? And by super dark, I mean it was almost like being it was being in a closet with the door closed and barely having any light. And look, you can still bring back the shadows, though I don't want to go too far. The reason being is I don't want to, I don't want to upset the uh, grain gods. Because look, the more you do this, the more prevalent all this bullshit becomes. So you go back and it, it kind of hides it. And look, yes, there's grain. I'm going to print this file out and I'm going to print it 17 by 22 on the Canon printer. You're not going to be able to say that, oh, it's so noisy, it's so grainy, because it's going to look freaking incredible. You're getting a number six. And this is really how dark it was. It's almost like that, but that's... Actually, we'll split the difference because I don't want to go too far because I don't want it to look like it was a portrait. Though it was dark, <laughs> it was too dark to see. Feels like I'm knocking on knocking on heaven's door. So I want to keep I want to have it maintain that dark feel. I like that. I'm liking where that's living right there. Hmm. Two, 20,000. I turned off all noise reduction in the camera because I hate the freaking noise reduction of the cannons. It makes everything look like it's... Uh, it makes everything look like it's just out of focus. So to me, it's actually maintaining color, 20,000, in a situation where there's not a lot of color. So you can't really compare this photo to any of your other photos in low light situations because they're not the same situations. Don't I, I seriously, Jared? Don't go too bright. I want to maintain the darkness. It's crazy that I'm fighting between the color and black and white at the twenty thousand ISO. This is literally what I was looking at.
Also, this brings back noise. 32,000. It's actually not that bad. This was the room. Only light that there was was above the that thing. What are these? These are 20,000 also, but I got the 51.2 out at 2.2. Two. The only light in this room right now is coming from his phone. Um, it's really nice. Get the exposure right. Yeah, I don't want to really do that. I don't. Get the colors. I mean, what I'm saying is it's pretty cool that the colors are here. You got the skin tone, the hat, the the shirt, the background. It's nice that it held up. Two five two two, that's the change. I just like the feel of that. Oh, I like the feel of that. I wish his head was up a little higher, or I was down a little lower. That's no good compared to the other one. Now we're at 102,000. So this is um, maxed out called H2 in the camera. So, yeah, these are going to look like ball sacks, but that's because they're at 102,000. You don't want to. It's pretty amazing that this picture is usable. And the focus was hitting. Oh, shit, no. There's nothing here, Jared. I think I put that here because there was nothing there, to be honest with you. I think I got to stick with that because that's coming from his phone. Yeah, I'm at 4.5 and all that, 3 20th of a second. Obviously, would have been down at, say, 2.8 to drop the ISO. That was more for the test, and that one's gone. Uh, that's that's about it. Um, let's go look at some keepers. I mean, we've gone this far. How far? Another 48 minutes. Shit, this is a long video. This is going to be an hour or almost two-hour video. Let's pick out the best of the best with honor, sir. Can we label him under the library this way? It, so I know we got another one of those later. Still like. That one. Just 
just a little warmer. Big difference. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. Has to be careful with that pole. And these, I'm going to go through these again. That one's better. See, it's got straighter. Right now, I'm just picking my favorite personal ones. <sighs> it's all right. Ooh. Get Steven in on the action. With all of ill dudes. I have to decide which one. Gotta go with that one. Whew, I'm falling asleep here. That's good too. All right, I'm leaving it at that. If you haven't checked out the Real World Review, go over to the site, check that out. Download some RAW files, check out all the full res exported uh, uh, JPEGs. If you like these videos, please thumbs up them. Please leave comments. Please subscribe. Uh, Long-ass videos, two hours-ish long. I'm editing. Might as well show it to you. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Jared Polin, Froknowsphoto.com. See ya.